some of the best minds in the world bringing you some of the best knowledge on TRS clips. Honestly, America, I think about a lot, and there was parts of America I saw which were really f***ed up, and there were parts of America which I saw which were like really weirdly spiritual and like nice like, because the landscapes are so big. Dude, I went to the sequoia forest. Sequoias are like yes. these really tall trees. So we went to a sequoia forest, bro. And when you enter it, like in the morning, the sunrise is just happening. And because it's like a mountainous region, the sunrise happens a little late because the sun takes time to come up. Mm. Dude, so you see these really tall trees, like trees like which are as big as like skyscrapers, just staring down at you. And there's like a lot of trees. There's trees as far as your eye can see, and you can see like really far. And then the sunlight hits them, and it kind of looks like the trees are like staring down at you and saying, "Hey, welcome, welcome <laughs> to this forest." And you feel that vibe, and we had gone there to shoot a video, and I'm just like staring up at it, like where the f am I? Because I've never seen trees so big. I've never seen this vibe, okay? And then while I'm tripping out, my friend goes, "Hey, dude, look a bear!" And there's actually <laughs> a f bear, like oh my God. right there, like like it's maybe like 10 meters, 15 meters away from you, and you're kind of like frozen because you're looking yeah. at like a big f bear. It's not a grizzly. But mm. it's one of those brown bears or whatever, but it's still huge. Oh my god. And it's just sitting there, scratching its back, scratching its balls and shit. And you're just like, what the f is it <laughs> is it gonna is it gonna come at me? But it doesn't. It just stays like Yogi Bear, it stays in its zone. Then there's this other American dude who goes, Hey bear! Hey bear! <laughs> okay, and it's this quiet forest American dude representing American culture, the bear. And the bear kind of gets mind f***ed and like runs away in the, instead of like coming at the person. Damn. <laughs> Strange as experiences in America, but what's that for you, dude? Um, I mean, I, I was living three years in Australia. I had such a good time, but I really love the US as well. Mm. It's like you said, it's it's the contrast is crazy. You know, while a lot of people are like very much uneducated, even being educated, yeah, you know, yeah, there's still a lot of opportunity in like growth, mm. and uh, you know, they're like being on top of like as like a lot of things, but you have to. You have to like, like I was living in the US for like two, three months in California and in Florida. You have to be with the right people because as much as it can help you grow, it can also like get you fucked up in some way. Let's you know? talk about this, bro. Mm. No, like mean? I said, in, in terms of social media, it's like there's a lot of fake. The industry I, f I would feel is, is very fake to a certain point where it's like, oh, let's be friends because, you know, this guy has like two million followers, mm. you know. I gotta be nice to him to get something out of him, you know? Mm. And I would never think like that. I don't mm. care. I would never ask anyone to tag me in their story. Mm. But over there, it's just like, okay, there's like one good looking dude, 10K followers, and this old dude, like fucking 4 million followers. Like all the girls would go to him, mm. without a doubt. Mm. It's a lot of like cloud chasing, who gets the better thumbnails, clickbait, scripting, faking, you know? It's just to stay relevant, people do a lot, a lot of bad things, which, I don't know. I never wanted to. And you have you have to fit in. If you're not fitting in this, it's going to be very hard nowadays to grow. I agree with the career opportunity things that if you're willing to work hard in that country, you can become anything you, you want. You become, become anything, yeah. Uh, because there are a lot of helpful Americans also. Of like, course, of course. You know, there's a lot of people out there who are very kind of focused on their own growth, but they know that they will grow by helping other people grow. Yes. So people very willingly help you with, with like everything they have, you yes. know, great team players and all, but that's in pockets. Like I remember, so we, I did like a, a gummy, mm -hmm. you know, like we were on this USA trip and we did like a cannabis infused gummy. Ooh. Okay. So dude, my friends like made me do it uh, and I did it very willingly and it's strong. So I got super blazed uh, and they stopped at that in and out burger, you know, which is at a petrol pump usually. It's at yeah, a yeah. gas station. And we got out there and that's what started hitting me, okay? And I'm like looking around, I'm a little like hazy. Dude, and I saw like these two, three uh, homeless people, okay? Um, and you really kind of, you see the trauma that those guys are going through. Mm. They, they're very likely on drugs. You know, have you seen Breaking Bad? Yeah, yeah, of course. The yeah. show, amazing. You know, you know that one episode with those, that drug addict couple and they ignore the kid and Jesse goes to that couple's house and he's like in stealth, he's hiding from them and they're, fi they're fighting with each other, they're bickering and finally, they both, the drug addict couple gets high together, like really high. Mm -hmm. uh, they start fighting aggressively and the woman eventually kills the man no, while I the kid is like roaming around. There's this one very yeah, peculiar yeah, yeah. Breaking Bad episode. And this mind fucks Jesse, who in, who in the show is like actually a drug dealer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
dude, you kind of sense those vibes as well. There's a lot of drug addiction out there, like bad levels of drug addiction. Yeah, and it's just like, you know, uh, I've seen it. It's just, if you want to fit into a certain industry, obviously there's a lot of good people out there and like, I love the vibe that everyone is so ambitious and has goals and you can make it really far by working hard and connecting with the right people, but you have to find the right people because it is much easier to go through like drama, controversy, you know, and you grow with that much more expansion, exponential than being like a good YouTuber, mm. you know? So people seek the fast cut, you know? Yeah. So they're gonna be like, okay, how can I be a Hollywood actor tomorrow? Mm. That's the way they think. Mm. So they all go to Hollywood with their $2,000 savings and they're like, okay, I've gotta go out with different people. So then they go out, take drugs. They don't make it, so their savings are done. So most of them end up on the streets mm. or end up with being like depressed because they have done things and it has lead them to nowhere, you know? So that is also that dark side of this kind of like living in a, in a place where everything is like so, you know, have, have you super have, rich. Yeah, have you come close to the dark side? I mean, not you yourself, have mm. you seen it up close? I've seen it, yeah. So what's it like? Like I've seen people literally sacrificing their friends sacrificing um, their family for, they just they just wanted the success, the fame, the money, you know? Instead of like, oh, I like making YouTube videos. I just want to grow naturally. They're just like, oh, I have to be famous tomorrow. You're talking about America specifically? I'm talking about people who were going to America for that reason, can also be foreigners. Mm. You know, they're like, okay, like, where can I get the richest the fastest? So then they would, you know, like, let's go to LA. Everyone is in LA, you know? And they don't make it because not everyone makes it, you know? so. They all drift off badly. Have you been to LA? Yeah, I've been there. And you've lived there, I'm assuming? I've lived there. I lived with my friend for like three, four weeks. Hmm. That's that's long enough, dude. That's yeah. long enough to know the culture of a place. You know the culture and then you go out and you see the, the patterns of, you know, I don't know. It's just like to find genuine people who just want you like want to like you as a person rather than getting something out of you. It's, it's harder, mm. you know? There's always an agenda. There's always something like, why are you with me? Why are you my friend? Is it the money, the followers, any other gain, you know? And I find it sad, no? I feel like- Did you meet any established famous people though? Yeah, yeah. You did? I have a few friends, they're like uh, big in the modeling or like actors hmm. as well. And they would be like telling me the same. They're like, the circle is very small and you have to be really careful who you can let in your circle because it's dangerous, you know, like why would they be with you? Mm. Everyone wants to take something. Everyone from wants you. to take something from you and they're like, they really want to pull you down so they can get up. Yeah, you Dude, know. Joe Rogan's left Los Angeles for the same reason, and there's mm. this whole exodus happening from LA. Like I believe even the media industry in America is gradually shifting away from LA for the same reason. Yeah, that it's become like this. I mean, I'm I'm not going to say anything because I've spent only like three four days of my adult mm. life in LA. But what they say is that it's kind of becoming this toxic vibe that you spoke about. Yeah, yeah. I mean, look to compare this. It's like let's say you want to be a bodybuilder. Okay, you don't want to train much because you just want to be like famous tomorrow, Instagram famous model. So you just take steroids, right? But to be a bodybuilder on like the big scale, you can't be natural. Mm. It's not possible. Mm. So if you're just going to be like that little innocent boy is like, I'm going to work hard every day to become the best <laughs> natural, like people are going to laugh at you. Mm. So at one point you have to inject, you know, but then even taking a few, like unless you have the best genetics, it will only get you somewhere, you know? But if you want to be at the top, you have to take more, 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 you know? Mm. And people get greedy. Mm. Once people have a lot, they want more. So they're willing to sacrifice more, even the health. Thank you for watching this clip. If you want to learn more about this topic, we've curated a playlist just for you. And here's a link to the whole episode.